Hello, everyone, and welcome to Rock Studios. I'm Stan Miller. I'm PR and Analyst Relations Manager for Rockwell Automation in the EMEA region. And I'm joined today by Helena Taribo. She is Security Operations Center Manager for Rockwell. Welcome to the studio, Helena. Thank you. Thanks for having us. And I'm also joined by Sergio Sanchez Palma. He is Cybersecurity Innovation Lead for Rockwell Automation. Sergio, welcome. Thank you. So guys, today we're here to talk about the benefits of a Security Operations Center, or SOC, uh, and what it can offer manufacturers. This is a fascinating topic. So Helena, if I could start with you, how would you summarize the current level of security threats the manufacturing sector is facing? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think it should come as a surprise to anyone that manufacturing sector or, or the industrial sector has become a very attractive target for, for criminals or for attackers. And we're talking here about regular criminals gaining money. We're also talking about here countries behind these attacks. We're talking about hacktivism. We're talking about spionage. You name it. It's just um, with the digitalization, it started to grow. So the same way that digitalization starts, which is great because it gives us more efficiency in the process. It gives us more comfort in the way we grow and we, and we work. But it's also opening the door. It's opening the attack surface. And this is where we need to put our focus in reducing that. It is also stressing out the importance of, of these industries, essential sectors, water, comp water companies, gas, electricity. So really, they, they have an impact. Also, other big companies that they may be not categorized as essential, but they uh, play a big role in, in global economy. So this is where, where I think this um, gains so many attention in these cases. Elena, that is a great foundation for our discussion. Sergio, if I could ask you, how should manufacturers start using uh, a secure security operations center or, or SOC? Good point. Let's uh, start from the beginning. Okay, first of all, uh, our manufacturers have to think what are their real needs about cybersecurity. The best way to do that is identify what are the critical assets and what are the risks and threats that they are exposed to. With that, they can define their main goals that we, we want, they want to achieve, okay? Then, that we need what we need, they need to find what is the right shock thinking in the complexity or in the size of this company, okay? Now that they have their own shock, is the moment to integrate this shock in all the process of the company. Because at the end, cybersecurity is global, okay? The way to, to do that is developing an implementation plan to be able to put the, this, this SOC, uh, manage, uh, to put this SOC to manage the platforms that this uh, company have and the future platforms that they will have on the future. Finally, another important thing is give visibility. We have to, to give visibility to the most important, uh, to some important roles that we have on the company, like CISOs. To, they need to be aware about what is happening what threats they have, what are the incident response that the SOC is detecting and protecting. Sergio, I think that's a great strategic overview. Helena, if I could turn to you, Sergio mentioned visibility. In, in what ways does increasing visibility prevent threats from, from developing? Correct, visibility is key, not only for, for detection, also for prevention. He was talking about identifying the critical assets. So yeah, we define like two phases of visibility. First time visibility, like let's be aware of our current state. What do we have in here? What, what information is available to us? And with that, we have our current status. What is our desired situation? We can work towards being more secure. So with that, we could talk about a risk assessment, for example. And afterwards, after we've planned for all of that, we're bringing closer now to my role to integrating with the SOC, which we will be talking about the 24-7 visibility, 24-7 monitoring. And with that, we can detect abnormal behavior, which it will lead us maybe to a threat, maybe to a misconfiguration, but it's, again, information to prevent something worse happening. And then it also gives us 
information, this visibility will help us I in getting this, this audit tray to co for compliance. Let's make sure that we are doing things and that we are doing things correctly. On other ways, let's improve on that. Well, and uh, it makes perfect sense. I mean, if you can't see the threat, you can't defend against the threat. Correct. So, Sergio, if I could turn to you, what balance do manufacturers need to achieve between ensuring cybersecurity and managing their overall expenditure? Good point. Uh, what they have to take in consideration is um, have a global strategy, okay? If the company or manufacturer is very, very big, it's very, very important, okay? They have to avoid to have redundant um, platforms of cybersecurity, okay? They could have different vendors, but on different layers, okay? We, we could have one vendor, uh, some endpoint protection, okay? Another one different on networking layer. Okay? We could have a next generation firewall with threat prevention, uh, and it's great because we are combi combining the best of two different vendors in our organization. Okay, sometimes the management it could be more difficult, but there are tools that helps shock engineers to manage that, automatization tools, and thi these same tools have capi capabilities to, to be uh, more efficient on the daily basis of the, of the SOC. If they have the right use cases, it's fantastic, they could work very fast. And finally, we have to think and the most difficult part, that is to have metrics to show that cybersecurity is not a cost. Okay, and I want to put a quick example. Okay, uh, what happened when uh, CyberSoc detects one threat, one malware, what else, and they stop it. Okay, we need to calculate, okay, what is the potential impact of that if we don't stop it that? Oh, this OT plan, it will be they stop it during one day, two days, okay? And if we are able to get these metrics, we will know what is the real value of cybersecurity. Sergio, I, we hear it all the time that downtime is the enemy of manufacturing. It can be uh, highly costly and uh, have a very negative impact on the business. So what you've just said makes complete sense to me. Guys, thank you for this discussion. This has been, um, I think, very enlightening for our audience on such a critical topic, as well as the opportunities and ways to defend against cyber threats. So thank you so much for joining us in the studio today. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more about industrial cybersecurity solutions, visit rockwallautomation.com.